Hey guys, it's Nick from Retro Games HQ, and today I am playing another episode of Disc Creatures, which by the way, Disc Creatures is going to be getting a sequel, and it freaking looks amazing. So let's get straight into it. It's been a little while since I played, so I have to get used to it again. So it's all right. Let's see. Okay, that's my menu. So so far I have Flamor, Electring, Craniton. Of course, those are my starters that I got to pick. Let's see what items I have. High speed memory. What's high speed memory? Okay. All right, let's go down. Discs. So I have all of those three. Tomat T, Mimic, and Battelle. Equipment, none. Recipes, none. Key items. Transceiver. Try it out when you're lost or stuck. Move changer. And I surrender. So let's keep going. Oh. Three Pico. Guess that's the currency. Let's see what the heck this is. Tomati. Round one. Now I have to remember, it's been a little while since I played. I'm going to have to remember all the mechanics. Oh no. Da, 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 da. Let's see. You have 10 of Tomati. Blast. And why not? We'll find out. Ooh. Okay. Oh. You won the battle. Earned four experience. Dun, 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 dun. Man, it's been too long since I played this. I really freaking like it. Creatures come in all sorts of types, you see. For instance, the little tomatis around here are grass type creatures. Now, grass types are strong against water and earth creatures, but they'll struggle against flame types. Once you understand how different types balance out against each other, you'll have a much easier time in battle. Guess that's a Tamati, so I'm not gonna mess with it, but let's see what this little guy is. What? You expected me to just attack you or something? No thanks, my friend. I'm not looking to get hurt. What a nice man. Creature. Whatever. Because remember, these things are like sentient. Energen. Which makes them even bigger, but set their attack. I want to get this first before we do anything else. Tupico. What's this? There's a disc cafe right up ahead. But before you go and take a break, let's battle. Dun, 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 dun. Round one. Fight. So up top costs two. I want to see how this goes with that. Magic Blast. I want to see how it goes with that. No artillery seeds. It's a random thing. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Bam. KO. Almost KO. Man. Very powerful. Lucky, lucky. See how it's gonna go against DV hat. I have to check the. Uh, hold on. I need to check. Um, what am I trying to think of? Oh yeah, the stats later on. KO. Sixty-five. Ooh. Not quite up there yet. Well, looks like I've still got plenty of training to do. High speed memory. There's a disc cafe right across this little bridge here. Make sure you let your creatures rest up a bit. Creatures with high guard are strong against power attacks. These with high barrier are strong against mind attacks. Alright. Let's go this way out. Think. Tamati. Oh, and a Mayemic. Round one. Fight. Tamati. Let's see how he fares how these two fare against. Physical. And then I'm gonna do just artillery. Eh. Okay, KO against that, my god. Almost KO there. Hey, another Mayamic disc. D -d 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 -d. Definitely feels like a retro game, that's for sure. I think there was there something back here, or was I just misreading? I was misreading the lay of the land. I didn't see the top and bomb and it jets out. A top and right and it jets out. So it looks like a way I could have went. 
might they? Chew on this. There's supposedly a rejuvenating sort of super fruit that grows up ahead. But at least something or someone has been leaving all the scrap metal laying around and blocking the path. I'll get it all cleaned up. Don't you worry. But it's going to take a while for me to really sink my teeth into it. Mm-hmm. Okay, only two times. Okay, good. Bob. Hey there. Would you like me to heal your creatures? Well, duh. Your creatures have all been refreshed and are fully healed. You'll probably bump into this Ogneon Rounder. When attacked, it shoots out paralyzing vapor to protect itself. If your creatures get paralyzed, they'll grow sluggish, and sometimes they won't even be able to move at all. But using mine attacks will keep the plants from shooting out vapor. Oh, so it's even that intricate. Uh -huh. <laughs> Disker. What's this? Oh, so it's a revive. Oh. Why not? I don't think I need all of them. Yep. Alright, go over here. Discarnate. Alright, let's see what this is. Tomati, obviously. Yes. Successfully. It's all Tomati. Oh, no. There we go. Hmm. I just wonder if this means I can only have one of each. But what does that mean for my stats, though? Patel. Okay. Okay, okay. Page one, page two. No. <laughs> back, let's go back. Thanks, VIP. I don't know that. I'll find out more. Find out more later. Okay, Pecan Four Safe Zone. Environment, same care and respect that you get. Toma. Well, I'll be. Someone plans to build a house here now, do they? Sometimes my fellow mon baffles me. My fellow man baffles me. A cutlery or eatery or whatever. This place lets even old men like me eat kids' meals whenever we want. And that very craving is what keeps me coming back again and again. Well, hello there. Welcome to the Grove Stove. We serve up meals for both you and your creatures to enjoy. Oh, it increase. What the heck? Uh. <laughs> okay. Okay, up one, up four in HP. Up three in power. So it's power mine's the same. Speed, luck. New move, cool. All right, I'm gonna do it for the air too. Fit tring. Such an odd little dance. And then just slide. You're saying. Okay, why am I forgetting? Four. So, electric is good for. Okay, so magic. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, some magic. Got to remember magic is Electrink's thing. Yes. Crenaton. Dun 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 dun. Bum bum bum. Okay. Three. Same card. Slightly better against physical attacks. Okay. All right then. Bam. Okay. Dude, but get this. He's all like, nah, man, I don't remember any of that, bro. Whatever, man, who even cares? Y'all are losing over a bunch of voodoo mumbo jumbo. Incoming transceiver call. Hey, yo, retro games. All those people are blocking the way, huh? Why not rest up at the couch, on the couch, and kill some time till they move out? Oddly enough, sure. The heck is this policeman doing here? Why is this? Whirl whistle. The whirl whistle is a magical instrument that will call creatures out from any whirlpools you see. You probably notice a few here and there during your travels, so give this whistle a blow if you do. Creatures will pop right out at you. Not always, of course. But that's where the thrill lies. I think there's a whirlpool back by the bridge right before you get to the safe zone. I'll start off with giving 10 pack first. Whenever you do manage to pull up a creature, you'll use you'll use up one cartridge. Okay, thank God I've decided to talk to that man. Yes. A hey. cover bowl. So it doesn't matter either way on him, on him. Ooh. Recovered E, how lucky. Attack. I need to manage my attacks, I think. And done. E, acquired two discs. Awesome. So I'm gonna go in here, boot this up. This grenade. Hmm. Okay. Alright then. Yes. Quaver pole. Really freaking nice, and it's so much a uh, retro feel. To your team, okay. I'm trying to remember if there was a team. There's a. <clears throat> we can only do three at the time, yeah. Hmm. Okay. Shut down a PC. Oh. How am I missing this? Plot's about to happen, right? So I thought, plot. Who could have told you that? Watch it, old man. We're walking here. You know what a disker like me could do to an old geezer like you? I'm thinking you ought to cough up some cash and apologize. Dude, wouldn't it be awesome to see a creature just crush a dude? Forget the money, man. Just send this old timer. You know what? Yeah, I think that just, uh, that I just might watch and behold a real disker in action. Alright, dude, run. Aw, oh, man. You ain't doing this. Policeman, just screw you. What you staring at, Pipsqueak? Oh. 
Baby's got a disc kit, hey? Well, let me teach you a lesson, punk. You ain't no real disker. Of course, it's really a disc ranger, but... I forgot to change out the attack, so I will. Ba ba ba. Magic Blast. Patel. Artillery Seeds. Defend. Razor Wind. Okay. Trip. Dodge. Mm hmm. Oh my god, I learned, I gained so much off that. I forgot what E charge does. Oh, never mind. It increases my. Duh. I'm gonna try this on him. I'm gonna try this on him. I'm gonna do artillery seeds again. Bloodsucker. Play more. Strong against spirit. 25 damage. 25 damage. They're all low. Slobber. Okay. Fight. Magic Blast. And him. Stupid Steam Stream. Stop it. No. Ooh. He was a heavy, 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 heavy hitter. Okay, good. I'm so close to hitting him down. Weagle. And in case. Good. Pretty much. 66. <sighs> Man, the biggest and best, the freaking MVP doesn't get... EXP off that. Are you kidding? Fine. Jeez, we got you so much as cross my path again, loser, and you won't be so lucky. Okay, loser. Well, thank you, child. I'm not so old and frail that I can't hold my own against a few ruffians, but against creatures? Oh my. Allow me to thank you. I was once a disker back in my prime, you know? Vertigo charm. This here is a great item I used to equip on my own creatures. Each one of your creatures can equip one item, you know. Open up the menu and head to equip. This vertigo charm helps you pr to protect your creatures that's wearing it by making it resistant to confusion. Energen times five. Peace and an end to all conflict, but will we truly ever get a Rev strife in our world. Progress and conflict may indeed just go hand in hand, I dare say. Well, to maintain status quo uh, requires violence to stop it, so. As is the human condition. Dang it. So I gotta go heal. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right, guys. That's the end of this episode of this creatures. <sighs> Thank you for watching. Um, I'll be definitely making more, and hopefully you like that. I think this time, uh, I think the last video I didn't have the audio set up correctly. But there's three things you can do before you leave. Subscribe to my channel. If you don't want to, later on, you can always unsubscribe. If you want to get a game, support charity, and support this well, this channel so I keep doing this, then use Humble Bundle and go through my link in the description below. And three, if you want to help me get games, no matter what my financial situation is outside of YouTube, then you can go to Patreon and become a patron. I don't have any, like, tier rewards, but if there's enough people interested, then I absolutely will start doing that. Anyways, that's all for this video. I'll see you in the next one, and retro on.